Well, good morning and welcome back to the Nacho Stuff Show. We're starting off this morning with some junk in our trunk, or our trailer, I should say. We uh, have that unit from the air conditioner that I ran back for. We got the sealed unit. We've got some fan parts. We got some microwave parts. I'm trying to get some stuff broke down to keep mama happy. Um, and clear out the garage a bit. This chair I was gonna originally sell. And I looked it up and they do sell, but the ones that sell have the stools on the bottom. And I did not find any like that. And it was in pretty rough shape. So it's going. I ain't messing with it no more. So we're trying to create some space so we can get some more stuff in our hoard. But stuff's got to go first. So we're starting off with some stuff. That's okay. It'll help us. It'll help produce the load today, right? Because I've already run two and a half neighborhoods and that's my first stop. Let's go. What do we have here? We got ourselves another lamp. I think this chair was for sale. What is it? Oh, no, it's for sale. It's free. <laughs> I thought it was an old grass hit item. Oh, so glad I don't got to pay to take that chair. It's a cute little chair. Oh, this one's free too. Basic color coordinating. Those are nice drawers. I don't have a use for them though. How come these aren't marked free? That's because they cost money. <laughs> I'm stealing them. <laughs> Just those two things are free. Everything else is expensive. Let's get out of here before we get caught. <laughs> Looks like we got some appliance graveyard here. Maybe a toy graveyard too. Not quite a peeker. Ooh. Come back racers. Don't know what those are. I was going through my garage. I got, I've been collecting basketballs. I got so many basketballs in the house. Look at that. I, 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 oh, he's broken. Like, I have a grabber now. <laughs> uh, we're going to call that one garbage, folks. Ooh, a little cutie. Some diapers. Some shoes. Not my size. We'll take this and we're gonna have to get out of the way because it looks like they're trying to get leave here. To unblock up their garage. Oosh. Let's see here. Man, there's a lot of cups. No more metals. This is metals. We'll take you two. Uh, this will fall out. All right, let's go. We'll take these cute little chairs. Hey, anybody need a kitchen? That's a cool little pool table. <laughs> oh, I already got one though, and that's an IKEA table. We'll just take the chairs. These are cute. We might have to give these to chill. They don't get buried first. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We made it out here to Kevin's world and he ain't been out yet. <laughs> At least not this street. <laughs> I got you, Kevin. <sighs> Couple of chairs. And what is this? What's up? Looks like one of those kneelers, but it's like elevated. What? Let's try to keep things situated this morning here. Keep our back wide open. Are these stackable, maybe? Maybe, maybe? <clears throat> Not true stackers, close enough. Onward. Looks like we got ourselves a nice pile here, folks. Yes. These are those chairs people are like, oh, look at that. It's a big piece of gate. All kinds of scrappy scrap. <clears throat> so 
These are the ones you guys are like, oh, those are so popular. Look at these things. These are rusted out big time. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Those doors are gonna be heavy. Oh yeah, you were heavy. Oh my gosh, you're all connected. Definitely not aluminum. Ooh, my friend glass. You can stay. I don't want you. <laughs> Unwanted glass. <sighs> yeah, let's walk around the glass, Max. Great idea, Matt. Walk around the glass. Maybe you can step on it. <laughs> Told you that thing was going to get buried. Oh my gosh. Why are you so heavy, brah? <sighs> Make a wall out of you. Ooh. Holy Toledo, that's heavy. That was almost my toe. But you miss me, you stinker. Get in my trailer. Ooh. Come on. What are you, oh, it's just too long. By that much. Come on. chunky piece of iron right there folks now it serves as a brilliant wall to keep our aluminum up front <clears throat> whoo wee all right let's giddy up whoo we'll take some lights yes we will is there a hose in there no hose for you. Ooh, a rat trap. It's not a good sign. This is not going on my car. Not with a rat trap here. Come on, bro. Why? Seriously, bro? Here we go. The other side didn't want to come out properly. All right, a couple of lights it is. Let's go. Bit sparse over here. I think Mr. Kevin might be over here running. I'll take a pair of running boards though. That's really your aluminum. <laughs> what those are made out of. Or something though. They got new ones, whatever they are. Mm. 
super metal. I ain't never seen one like that before. Let's go. We'll take some small morsels. Yes, we will. Oh no, what part of this is PVC though? No, PVC. That's PVC too. It's just this. Squishy though. I think you're less likely to fly off the back of my car. Gutter stomping and some gutter origami. One more fold. That should do her. Let's go. Davey without a little lawnmower noise. Right. Let's go. Well, I stopped on this main road for you guys. I want you to know that. Because I think we have a TV here. Probably come over here and it'll be a piece of plastic. No, it's a TV. It's a TV, not even a monitor. Oh, I want to let you know too, in case you see a TV coming out of the back of the truck. There is a TV in the back of the truck. It was in the back of the back of the back of the truck. And uh, also some more good news. That TV that I had in the back of the trailer all day yesterday, I took it home, I tested it. And as of right now, she works. So when we turn that in, as long as she still works, we got a twofer. So, first TV of the day. New TV count. Let's go. So, we snuck into the gated community. We It was closed last week. It was locked up last week. And uh, so we didn't get in there. So we followed a truck in. It's a Dyson. No, it's a Hoover. Um, so we done snuck in there. We we're going around, going around. We did well in there, I don't know, three weeks ago. And uh, nothing, nada. I was like, that's so weird. Guess who I saw as I was pulling out? Kevin. He was running the neighborhood right in front of me. So he got me. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Onward. I think this might be an almost picker. Oh my gosh, look at those big old coolers. And look at this, folks. We got more dumpster hooch. Oh, it's empty. Those are some big old coolers. Are they roach infested, though? That's the question. Coleman. I don't know. That's got resale written all over it, right? Look at the size of that igloo. It's got wheels on it too. Are you McNasty? Oh, dumpster hooch. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Wow, wow, take my breath away. Yeah. I guess we're going to get ourselves a basketball rim from the, from my pool. That is it. This is all boxes and a cooler. Just to be on the safe side, you're not going in my car. Oh, oh, oh. No. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. All right, let's go. Oh, 
all you dirty birds. I thought for sure you was metal. You're all pivy size. Oh, one piece rebar. <laughs> oh, one piece of rebar. Put you in here so you don't slide out. Where we're gonna put you? There we go. Put you in there. Right. 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 There. Don't want to fall out the cracks. I thought for sure there was like a swing set that was taken apart. Not for you today. This could be amazing. This could be total crap. I saw something back here that looked like showerish PVC. Dude, not again. <laughs> I was gonna walk over here and be like, copper. No. It's twice today we done been fooled. Gosh, get some glasses, Matt. Another Main Street stop, but this time it's for me. <laughs> I think these will be all aluminum, hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure. How light are you? Oh yeah, you guys are nice and light. These are definitely gonna be aluminum. We'll take it. Uh, I see rust though. Well, it's just screws holding it together. Let's see here. Come on. Where's my magnet at? Magnet, magnet, magnet. I need to know. Uh, ah, you dirty bird. You are not a woman. I'm not. You're just cheap steel. That's why you got thrown out. You're light and not durable enough. We'll take them then. We'll take them. It's been really light today, thank you. Thankfully we seeded our uh, load with, look at these things are falling apart with some stuffs. Otherwise, it would not be much of a load. <clears throat> Kevin had some stuffs, but he didn't have much either. I'm telling you, man, people are just not throwing away stuff like they, like they were. It's probably only gonna get worse. I'm gonna add a strap and move on. This one was hiding from me behind the garbage can. I didn't see it until it came back around. Oh, the Holy Grail? No. <laughs> the Holy Steel. <laughs> oh, the door's even steel. Oh, I thought for sure that was gonna be yummy, yummy. Oh, well. What can you do? We'll take her though. We'll take her. We're being much happier if you're still steel, but we're not gonna complain. Stuffs is stuffs, right? Oosh. Where are you going? You're gonna go right there. And undo the strap. You can be the other side of the strap. That's what you can be. All right, I'm putting it right here, guys. I'm not gonna bore you with the unstrapping, restrapping, hooking it up there. So, I'll see you next stop. Blew right by this guy. He was hidden behind the garbage can. I wonder if there's any yummies inside. A bit of wire here. Any yummies? Any yummies? Uh, a little bit. Not much. It's pretty empty. Ah, boy. That's some nice 
nice wire right there. That's some junk I wire. Wouldn't mind about a thousand feet of that. Let's go. I don't know if we call it schmorganizing, but we did move some stuff around to make room for these guys. Got ourselves a pair of smoke pokers. Smoky, I smell them from here. The Smoky Mountain series. Let's see what he looks like inside. Whew, that is smoky. Wow, there's some nice meat been done on that one. Well, that one was electric and this one was propane. Whew, those smell so good. I wish there was smell-o-vision. You guys would like that. Some nice stuff right there. Perfect flame. Wow, that's hot. That's how hot it is today. It's early and these things are already scorching hot. Imagine that. A big black piece of metal was hot. You're brilliant. Let's go. Yes! This is a dead end, dead end street. But I saw this box and it intrigued me. I'm glad I came down. We'll take some nice wire. You guys are busted, we don't want you. I got glass in it. I thought I took that. Oh, there's two of them. Like I thought I took all the glass out. I thought I took all the glass out. Shoot. Mm. Right, why aren't these ones coming out like the other ones came out? Come on. Bend. Come on, bend. Ah, no tools. I know I could go all the way up to the front there, but I'm just I'm not doing it. We're gonna use what we got. <laughs> Man, those are tight in there. Whoo! Why you gotta be so tough on me, bro? All right, let's go. Same street as. We've been here on here three weeks now. It is the official wheelbarrow street graveyard. Oh, this one's plastic. Let's see if we can get the, get the bottom off of this, maybe. Ugh. Actually, the plastic doesn't weigh very much. We're just gonna take it. But the wheelbarrows have been strong on this neighborhood. I don't know how many wheelbarrows you can go through. All right, I'm gonna add in a strap and we'll move along. Let's giddy up. Did we finally find an aluminum chair? Maybe. Oh. Huh? <laughs> nope. <laughs> what is with all the steel chairs, man? Ah, I guess it is a 
Ferris kind of day. We'll put you up here. I'll put you up there. Yeah, just like that. All right, I want to unstrap this and restrap it. You know the drill, kids. We're gonna try to keep this video short. I might even not even do the unload and see if I can get some new eyeballs in here with a little shorter video. We'll have to see how the length plays out. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Almost passed this guy up. I thought for sure Kevin had run these neighborhoods. I guess not. We'll take a poop up. <laughs> Protective dog. Don't take my poop out. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye, Doge. Onward. I'll have to admit, I'm thoroughly confused. I saw Kevin just running down another street. I thought for sure he's, he had been down all these. I'm not quite sure how he's running. He's probably just trying to stay out of my way. And he's jogging all over the place just like me. But I don't know. I, based on the direction he's coming, he should have run these streets already. I guess not. Because this is a corded vacuum. A vacuum, maybe. Quarter vacuum. Definitely not leaving that behind. All right, let's go. We won't take a look see here. I didn't see any metal, but you never know what's deep down in the boxes, right? Uh, it looks very garbage. -y. Oh, nope. And that is why you stop and look, folks. You just never know what's in the boxes. A couple of lights. Uh, you guys can go. Right there. Looks like a good home for you. You can come right here next to your brother. I think I saw some wires, too. I did, I did. Anything else hiding down in here? A wallet with tons of money in it. That actually might be a name brand, right? I don't know, let me know what those circles mean. It's probably worth billions of dollars. At least, maybe more. What we got here? A bat cave. The military bag. We'll take that. Anything else good? Uh, I think that's it. That is it. All right. Let's go. Picker or non-picker? This is even in someone's house. It's like someone just put all this stuff out here on the side of the road. What? Hey, an iPhone 4 box. That's pretty current technology there. Foam. Box. Box. Is there anything in the box you think? It feels empty. No, nothing. Got a baby mattress. More current technology. A GPS. Ooh, we got a gun. It doesn't even work. Jewel cases. Oh, we'll take that. Is this random stuff here? Recovery discs.
Ooh, we got a bunch of screws. You got a bunch of screws loose. What a random pile of stuff here. What is going on? We'll take the coax while we're here. Might as well, right? Put you in my dishwasher. Get in here. Get in here. Get. Well, certainly not a honey hole. Come on, give me something. You know you want to. Give me something good. Nada. Nada. Truly garbage. Let's go. We're gonna get ourselves a bike. A moto cane, mo, moto b cane. I don't know what kind of bike that is. Bike with flat tires. You're gonna be aluminum. That will be nice. It is. I'm gonna look that up. It looks pretty nice. Pretty nice, besides the fact that it's got zero tires. <clears throat> We're gonna have to add a strap to you. I don't like the way you're hanging up here. All right, strap and go. Yeah, we'll take a vacuum with the cord. We're even going gloveless, folks. I'm trying to get out of this neighborhood. We're trying to be done, but stuff just keeps popping up. Little morsels. Onward. I told you. I was trying to get out of this neighborhood, but I said, you know what? I want to run down and check that one street on my way. Looky, looky, Americanos. We got ourselves a TV set. This might be of the tester variety. Yo! Definitely a tester. Put you in the back of the vehicle. This one's not going on the count board yet, folks. We need to test her first. See if she's a onesie or a twosie. Oh, you get in here. All right, let's march on. Alrighty guys, we are unstrapped and ready to rock and roll. Like I said earlier, this may or may not make the cut. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll see. If you wanted it and it's not included, sorry. <laughs> but you won't see this because I didn't include it. <laughs> oh. We got a bunch of new dirt here in the yard filling in the lake. Dude, why? Why do you have to fight me? Why? Thank you. those. Those are copper, right? Where my little magnet at? Those are copper. I kind of want that. Even more likely that's not going to show now. <laughs> Stalin. Wasting time walking around doing stuff. I'm gonna guess this one. Oh yeah.
take those. Oh crap, where'd I put that? There it is. It's like, where'd the bit go? There we go. That wasn't too painful. You can see my footprints, it's so squishy in here. in this here one. all steel weren't they I'm pretty sure all these stickers were steel Oh, that's a Hoover. Mike, I'm gonna smash that for you today. What do you think? Sound like a plan? <clears throat> Make you happy? <clears throat> I 
I asked her if she wanted these. She did not. Jill did not want this. I might be able to resell those. Those are nice. This is going to be another smasher. That's what's holding everybody up there. Come on, one sticker. Put a chain. Come on. There we go. Whew. What's up? You grabbed that grill on the way out? Yeah. I wasn't sure about that one. I... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I better, I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I knew it was in bad shape. I'm always leery when they're tucked back like that. Yeah. I, I left a basketball rim today too. I saw one, I'm like, I know that's garbage. It didn't even have a backboard on it, but. Don't want to be that guy. Exactly.
haul Luda back up. To go see Jeffy. Whew. Get a little NOJ. Mr. Kevin just finished. Perfect timing. Ooh, Nelly. I'm glad I'm finished early today. I mean, it's hot, hot, hot out. Dude, ready to go. Oh, I'm standing right here in front of these fans. That is. It's not even noon yet. No. What do those running boards go as? Breakage? All right. It's more like heavy iron because of the water. Mm. Yeah. Hey, what, hey, whatever. I'm taking it off. Whatever you want to call it, Jeffy. Zip, 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 eight times miles. eight, times two, that's 16. That's like hours of work. Hours of work. I'm not, not doing it. you'd have unclean stainless. No. Yeah, I'll test the stainless. It's dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty. So they take out eight bolts. That's going to be clean with the... With the Why do you do that to me, Jeff? I'm trying to be lazy today. It's too darn hot out. I'm trying to show an amateur scrap. I'll get it. No, when you when you, if it's if it's gonna go as clean stainless, I'll do it. It's sixty. Yeah, it's sixty cents versus thirty. Where's twenty? Oh, it's heavy. It's, yeah, twenty-two. All right, I'm keeping them then. You suck, Jeff! <laughs> uh, I gotta come back with this anyways because I can't get this bolt. I, I can't get these bolts off. Are you? Right. For your kayak? Yep. Weigh that. I, I don't think it's much. I, I just I'm just that's no, that's off of a vacuum. One of my viewers keeps telling me I'm leaving so much money on the table, so I broke down a vacuum out of today. See how valuable it is. Two pounds. So is that 50 cent? Too long. No. Too long when it's this hot. <laughs> Shit. Bring this back. I did, I took it out of the big thing. No, just the motor. Come on, it's a new bucket. <laughs> but it's a new bucket. <laughs> I can't get this off. You got bigger muscles than me? I can't get that off. Oh, you're gonna torch it? Even better. 
Thanks, Jeff. You're the best. Oh. All right, I'm gonna turn on the steel unit. Wait till he gets that back. I'm almost out of battery. So I'm gonna cut it here. We're gonna have to bring this back later because I can get clean stainless on that by removing 16 bolts. I think it's well worth it. I'll see you guys after checkout. Alrighty guys, we're weighed and paid. I actually had a little more battery. I think the heat drains the battery faster because I had less battery and then I turned it off and then when I turned it back on to make sure they had enough to film the outro, I got more battery than I had when I turned it off. I don't know how that happens. Anywho's, not a bad day. We, we, it looked like we had a really good load thanks to seeding things with the uh, parts of the air conditioner that um, we picked up. I went back. I didn't, couldn't fit the outer shell stuff that normally goes inside your house. So I ran back and got that last night. So that's what we see the load with. It helped a lot uh, to have that. Um, we found some stuff, but nothing, uh, nothing heavy. You know, besides that one door. But um, 10, 1120 pounds, seven cents pound, 78.40 light irony. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. It was just eight pounds because the table was clean. 35 cents pound to 80 electric motors. Mike, I did take apart uh, the vacuum cleaner. Motors two pounds. So you're looking at 46 cents to get the motors off the vacuum cleaner. So while I might be leaving a little bit of money on the table, as hot as it is, I don't know that I want to be beating on vacuum cleaners to make an extra 50 cents. That's just me. Um, but I did get it off, just wanted to make sure that you knew that I did uh, pound one out of there just so I was able to know, because knowledge is power. Uh, the uh, fan part of that motor, uh, Jeff torched for me. So we got 20 pounds of electric motors for 23 cents a pound, 460. Clean aluminum was a table, 18 pounds, 52 cents a pound. 936 and the sealed unit was 63 pounds, just 16 cents a pound on those down even more 1008 for a grand total of 105.24 so we're over a uh, hundred again today which is pretty good man it is hot 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 there's heat warnings out i know that uh it's hot every place in the u.s right now so if you're out there be safe stay hydrated it's brutal uh, anybody that says we're not working is not out there this time of the year Woo, nelly so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to consider subscribing. We did get to 6,000 uh, subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Invite your friends. Let's see if we can get to 10. So uh, remember, it's nacho stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into some cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll see you then. But first, I'm gonna run out there because I saw him move his head. That is a ginormous lizard. Let's go see if we can sneak up on him. That's about the, that's almost iguana-like. Look at the size of that lizard. Holy mechachula, you see him running? That is a big boy. Is that an iguana? Dude, he was ginormous. That might be an iguana. They have them down in South Florida. I've never seen one up here, but I've never seen a lizard that big either. If you know if that was an iguana or just a regular lizard, let me know. I would love to know. And until that, with that, see you guys tomorrow.